I'm Elizabeth Kerekere. I come from Aotearoa, New Zealand. I'm founder chair of Te Whana Whana Trust, which is an organisation that advocates for takatāpui. That's Māori, there's the indigenous people of our country who identify as lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, intersex and queer. Quite often in our LGBTIQ community, sometimes our sexuality and gender is the most important thing. But if someone who is indigenous, of colour, who is black perhaps, actually our culture, our spirituality is more important. So then for me, I want to see if I come into the space, how are our cultures respected? How is our spirituality expressed in this space? How do you make these things systemic? How do you ensure that the representation we talk about is actually embedded in the organisation of something? And so for me, the way I interpreted that is about making space for our hosts, about making sure that grounding ourselves in the land here is a core value of the of the conference from the beginning and making space every single day for our host people to express themselves in their own languages and from their own cultural base. It is a wonderful, wonderful thing that we have created this, the first Global Feminist LBQ Women's Conference. However, it is not the be all or the end all. I absolutely want to acknowledge all of the work that goes on at local and regional and national levels that is the absolute foundation of anything that can happen across the world. It's really important to keep on the conversations about inclusion, exclusion, who do we have here, who do we not? Because when you draw a line in the sand and say this is who we're about, necessarily we exclude everybody else. Uh, how do you rationalise that, but how do you stand by that? It's just one little piece of the amount of work we have to do in this world.